Hey guys, you're watching 360 Rumors. My name is Mick, and today we're going to look at Google Photos and how it can help your 360 photography. So Google Photos has seven features that can help improve your 360 photo workflow. Let's take a look. So uh, the first feature is that it can automatically back up your backup and synchronize your photos. So some depending on which 360 camera you have, they might your your photo could end up either on your phone or on your desktop. And uh, Google Photos can sync back up your photos uh, from both your your uh, your cell phone and your desktop, and you won't have to worry about uh, where you save them. So here, for example, I took some photos um, and I and I had them saved to my uh, smartphone but they were automatically backed up to my um, uh, to my cloud drive and, and meanwhile I, I've taken other photos from my from a, a camera that I saved directly to the desktop and again um, Google Photos automatically backed them up and you can see they're all here in the same place so that's the first way that Google Photos helps uh, the second way is that it can automatically recognize your 360 photos. So Google Photos works for any kind of photos, um, conventional as well as uh, 360. But it's especially helpful for 360 photos because watch this. So um, here I have all my photos and in the search box if I type 360 photos, it can find all my 360 photos. It can automatically recognize them. So this feature uh, works only in the desktop and Android versions of Google Photos. Unfortunately, the the Apple the iOS version doesn't have this feature yet. So the third feature is image recognition. So here I'm looking for my my daughter, um, and I type her name Sophia and it's going to pull up all her all the photos with with her in it um, and this feature works for 360 photos as well so as you can see it was able to find her face in this 360 photo um, even though a 360 photo is distorted and um, if you look at the the data I didn't tag it I, I hadn't said anything about Sophia being there but I was able to find it so now, but now that I've found it, the fourth feature is that you, you can uh, tag the photo and um, add a description that can help you find and organize your photos later on. So I've, I, what, I've typed, for example, Mexico Cruise, and now when I type Mexico uh, or Cruise, um, it's able to find the shot that I found earlier. So the fifth feature is that it can recognize uh, 360 photos and display them as 360. So uh, this feature works only in the the PC. Uh, I'm sorry, the desktop version and the um, the Android version of the software, not on the iOS version. But um, as you can see, I can uh, bring up photos and browse through them and go from one photo to the next, and it will automatically show the <coughs> show them in a 360 format. So the sixth feature is I can um, edit uh, 360 photos and the editing is non-destructive so uh, that means that when you apply them um, you, you, they won't be permanent you can undo them uh, later on and as you can see I can adjust apply f Instagram style filters and uh, uh, change things like exposure and um, the highlights and uh, clarity and all, all those settings and the cool thing is that um, you know it, it will stay uh, 360 so um, on other image editors if you apply uh, if you edit them let's say in, um, in, in Photoshop or something uh, sometimes the metadata gets stripped and you can't see them in 360 anymore but here as you can see it even after editing it's still in 360 So the last helpful feature is that um, you can make edits to a shot 
and then copy those edits and paste them to another shot. So here you can see that I'm editing a shot and um, you know by the way you can save the changes as a, as a new copy but anyway here I'm applying a filter um, and then saving it as a new copy then um, you can you can see that I can copy the edits that I made in this this photo which in this case is uh, applying a filter then I can uh, take those changes and apply them to another uh, photo entirely so here um, I'm able to uh, paste the changes that I made and it's going to give it the same look so uh, this is not only a time saver and it's very convenient but it also helps you uh, maintain a consistent look like if, if you're into if you want a certain kind of um, uh, contrast level or saturation level and you, you want them to look pretty much the same across your photos this is going to help you do it so thanks again for watching and i hope you found it helpful please hit the like button and for more tips please subscribe thank you very much